How you're feeling feel? better? <laughs> uh, yeah, feeling better. Feeling better. Uh, continuing to improve. So, uh, yeah, just trying to do what the doctors and trainers tell me to do. What is it that the doctors are saying in terms of how do you go about rehabbing this? Um, certainly, you know, fair amount of treatment and, and uh, things you can do from a, from a treatment standpoint and then certain exercises and, um, you know, range of motion, you know, exercises and, and things you can do to, to, uh, to improve. How can How much? you show them that you're ready for contact? Like, what's that, like, that process like? Um, I think it's just, yeah, passing, passing the test and, and showing that I've improved to the point they feel comfortable putting me out there. Is it some sort of physical test that they put you through or is it just a scan? Um, yeah, there's a number of tests that uh, they're looking to see improvement. Daniel, have you physically felt better since this happened week after week? Or isn't isn't it that kind of progress? Uh, yeah, I feel a lot better. Uh, I feel a lot better than I did, uh, you know, after the injury. And, um, you know, I've continued to improve week by week and, and you know, day by day even. So uh, I'm feeling better and, and uh, you know, focused on, on continuing to do that. Do How doctors much? ever say you're getting closer? Like, do they give you that kind of feedback where there's optimism yeah for sure i think um yeah i've gotten that um you know you know more and more recently and and uh, i'll continue to do what i can to uh to get back how much more have you been able to do uh in regards to working and you know working out in general and practice as well um a good bit i mean uh yeah i can do I can do pretty much everything you know i can throw i can run i can i can lift um you know, so yeah, it's just a just a contact thing. Was there, was there ever a time where, you know, from the from the start of this, where they said rest is imperative for it, and that there's this prescribed amount of weeks for the rest that will help in the long term? Um, yeah, I think rest was part of it early on. Um, you know, I think uh, part of it, you know. It was kind of a week-to-week -week thing from the from the get-go, though, and in terms of how uh, how they saw the improvement and, and uh, you know how it kind of how it went from there. So um, that was kind of the approach. But yeah, rest was a component at the beginning for sure. Yeah, it was the, is the contact clearance thing. Is that about you telling them you don't feel something anymore? Like, what is the indicator that they would clear you for contact after? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just tests. You know, I feel good and. Uh, you know, from a pain level, you know, I feel feel good, don't have any pain, and um, yeah, it's just passing a couple more tests. What well, gives you symptom free? Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's still some symptoms uh, there. I think, yeah, I feel good. Um, Do you have to tell them that you're symptom free before they can, you can get clear? Yeah. Uh, I think there's certain symptoms that they're looking for and testing for um, from a pain level and, and, you know, based on, you know, how I feel, I feel good. And that's been the communication uh, from that, but from that not, symptoms. You're not uh, symptom free, right? Uh, there's certain things that I, I haven't done yet. Two years ago, I think you were seeing like a specialist, like a spinal specialist in LA. Have you had to do anything like that? Like go for second opinions anywhere? Or? Uh, I haven't. Um, I've been here in New York. Uh, I've gotten, you know, a couple different opinions from doctors, but uh, I've been here. We've got great doctors here in New York. What gives you optimism this time? Like, obviously, last time they had to shut you down, right? What gives you optimism this time that this is going to end differently? Uh, it's a different injury. It's a different injury, and I think uh, when you see other guys who have similar situations uh, as mine and they're able to progress and come back, you know, I'm following a similar timeline to that. So, um, you know, that's kind of the, the optimism, and, and uh, yeah, it's a different injury than last time. What players are you talking about that had similar injuries that came back? Uh, there's just there's been a number of I mean in, this is a football injury and you, you know you know people in the past who've had it so is it all the same treatment stem ice chiropractor all that uh, yeah I mean there's a number of different things you can do uh, treatment wise that uh, we do here with our with our trainers and um, yeah doing everything I possibly can to get back Daniel have they shared with you the, the trainers doctors what the, the risk would be if they put you on a football field and you did have contact, especially in a certain area? Um, 
Yeah, they've shared that with me, um, you know, and I'm, I'm certainly uh, trying as hard as I can to get back. But uh, yeah, from the doctor's standpoint, it's not something he can, he can clear me to do at this point. So uh, trying to do everything I can to get back. Looks like the obvious, but like, do you have to be more sensitive because it's the neck? It's not an ankle, it's not a shoulder. Like, is that part of this where they have to be extra cautious? Um, yeah, I mean, I think anytime you're talking about the neck, it's, you know, yeah, you got to understand the risk of, of re-injury and, and what, uh, you know, what would happen if you were to, to re-injure it. So, yeah, that's certainly a component of it. What's, what have you seen from Tyra? What's that been like having to watch him? I think he's played well. Um, he's played really well uh, Sunday. It's been fun to, fun to watch him and, and pulling for him. Um, you know, certainly not surprised with, with how he how he's played. Um, so, yeah, it's been been fun to watch him. Obviously, you want to be on the field. It's tough not being on the field, but um, yeah, he's played great. Does it comfort you as you rehab, trying not to hurry? You know that that table's been clear that the job is yours when you're ready to get back. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm so focused on what I'm doing from a rehab standpoint and getting back as fast as I can, and and that's really been that's really been my focus. Thank you.